Hello and welcome to solution for quiz number three. The first question of the quiz perform the following operation, which is integration of tan square theta, sec square theta, d theta. There are five possible answers. Our task is to perform the integration and pick up the correct answer. To do this, let's just take a look at the function. Integration of tan square theta, sec square theta, d theta. Since these are a function and its derivative, we should use integration by substitution. So let's take u equal to tan theta. Therefore, du will be equal to sec square theta d theta. And it's really apparent that it's going to be really quickly. Here is the integration. We already said we're going to set u to be equal to tan theta. So we replace tan square theta by u square. And then we also said that du would be equal to sec square theta d theta. So we replace sec square theta d theta by du. Now it is just a matter of integrating u with respect to du. So it will be u to the power 3 divided by 3 plus constant. Therefore, our integration yields tan to the power 3 of theta divided by 3 plus the constant of integration. That ends this problem. Let's move on to the next problem. Next problem, we have to do the integration between 0 and x of f of t dt. And obviously, this involves the fundamental theorem of calculus. And in this case, f of x is a piecewise function. It has three branches. Each branch has its own domain. We should call it subdomain. So the first branch, the function, is 3t squared plus 15 and t is defined in the closed interval between 0 and 1. The second branch is 18 divided by t squared and it's defined in the open interval from 1 to 3 that is the values of t and the third branch the function is 2t minus 4 and t is defined in the closed interval between 3 and 5. So since this is a piecewise uh, function, then we have to go through piecewise integration. That means we have to handle each branch separately. Let's get going now. Starting with the first branch, integration between 0 and x of f of t dt equals 2. We're going to break it into 2. So the first will be from integration from 0 to 1 of the first branch plus integration from 1 to x of the first branch. And if we do the math, the integration of the first term will give us t cubed plus 15t. We have to evaluate it between 0 and 1. And then we have to add to that the second integration, which has limits from 1 and to x so that will give us the same integration and the limit 1 to x and if we do the evaluation of the first it's going to give us 16 and evaluation of the second it's going to give us x cubed plus 15x when we plug x for ht and then when we plug 1 for ht we're going to get minus 16 so we can make our conclusion now therefore the first branch evaluates to x cubed plus 15x for x is in the closed interval between 3 and 5. We'll move to the second branch. For the second branch, we have integration same from 0 to x of f of t dt. And that we're going to break it also. So it will be integration from 1 to 0, from 0 to 1 of f of t dt plus integration from 1 to 3 of 
f of t dt plus integration from 3 to x f of t dt. We know that this integration it has the limits on this subdomain. That means we have to use the first branch. And we already used the first branch and we came up with the value of 16 for evaluation of the function. So we're not going to evaluate. We're just going to plug in 16 for this one. And then we have plus integration between 1 and 3 since 1 and 3 are in the subdomain over here so we have to use the second branch so we replace f of t by the second branch on both of these and then we do the integration normal integration if we do it this way we will have integration between 1 and 3 of the, the of 18 divided by t square plus integration from 3 to x of 18 divided by t square and let's just go ahead and perform the integration like we said integration of the first branch from 0 to 1 will yield 16 so this is 16 now we have to go ahead and do the integration of 18 divided by t square which is going to be 18 divided by negative t and we have to evaluate it between 1 and 3 which is right here plus the integration will be the same 18 divided by negative t and the only difference between this and this is the fact that the limits of integration are different so here 3 and here is x so if we evaluate the middle one which is this one it's going to give us negative 6 minus 18 why negative 6 because we replace t by 3 so that will be 18 divided by negative 3 and that's that's going to give us negative 6 and then we have to subtract from it when we evaluate 1 so evaluate 1 we will get negative 18 but when we subtract it it will be positive 18 so we'll have negative 6 plus 18 and that's going to be equal to 12 which we'll use it later on and then over here we just have to plug in x when we plug in x we get 18 divided by x which is the first term and then 3 we have to subtract it so it will cancel this negative so we'll have 6 plus so this is plus 6 now we can group everything and get to our conclusion as we said the first term is 16 and the second term is negative 6 plus 18 which is going to give us 12 and the third term is x uh, 18 divided by negative x which is similar to minus 18 divided by x and then we add to it 6 because we have to plug in 3 and that will yield the 6 and this will yield for us the following which is 18 divided by x plus 6 therefore the second branch evaluates 2 if we add these this 16 and then we believe uh, 28 and then plus 4 is going to be 34 so 34 minus 18 divided by x and this is good for the interval where x is between 1 and 3 it's an open interval For the third branch, once again, the left hand side is always the same for all of them. Now we have to go again from 0 to 1 of f of t and that will tell us that we're just going to plug in 16 because f of t is defined in this subdomain only for the first branch. So we'll just plug in over here 16 and we can see that we have also this function. We will just go ahead and plug in 12 for it. So we will make everything easier. So this first integration will yield 16 and the second integration we are going to yield 12. So we have to just go ahead and do the third and the fourth integration. So the third integration since we have the limits 3 and 5 that is move, that's going to move us to the third branch 3 and 5. So we will take 2t4. 2t minus 4 so we will do the integration 
of 2t minus 4 and the limits are 3 and 5 and then we will add to it integration between 5 and x of the same which is 2t minus 4 because there is this value which is in the third branch subdomain of the same branch so we could go ahead and just do the integration and we keep the 16 plus 12 and then this will be plus we're going to go ahead and get the integration of this so 2t its integration is t squared minus 4 integration is minus 4t and we have to evaluate it between 3 and 5 plus we do the same over here the only difference is that the limits are 5 and x everything else should be the same so we could go ahead and just collect these two together that's leave us 28 plus we have to plug in 5 if we plug in 5 5 squared is going to give us 25 and 5 multiplied by 4 is going to give us 20 we subtract them and then we subtract from them the next value okay. because 3 we have to evaluate it so minus and then we evaluate 3 that's going to give us 9 and then take the 3 over here with the 4 that's going to give us minus 12 plus we go through this one also so we plug in x that's going to give us x square minus 4x which is in black here and then we have to plug in the 5 if we plug in the 5 it's going to give us 25 minus 20 and of course it should be subtracted now we have to collect these terms so we have the 28 and if we do the math this will give us this will give us 5 and then this is minus and we will have minus 3 so it's 5 plus 3 that's going to give us 8 and then plus this value in black would remain the same and we have to subtract 25 minus 20 so that's going to be 5 and then we have this negative so it's going to be negative 5 which is right here so we have to add these three and that will give us the result that we're looking for so therefore the third branch evaluate to x square minus 4x plus 31 because over here we have 28 plus 8 that is 36 minus 5 that is 31 and this is the answer and this is good for x in the closed interval 3 and 5 For this problem, we have to figure out which of the answers below result from the following integration, which is integration of x cubed ln of 5x dx. Here are the options. These are the possible answers, and only one of the answers is the correct one. So let's go ahead and find which one is the correct answer so let du be equal to x cube then u will be equal to x to the power 4 divided by 4 and let v equal to ln of 5x then dv equal to 1 over x so the integration we have to perform is integration of x to the power 3 ln of 5x dx and it's going to be equal to x to the power 4 divided by 4 ln of 5x minus integration of x to the power 4 divided by 4 multiplied by 1 divided by x where the last one is dv and the first one is obviously u and if we continue we can see that this is equals to x to the power 4 divided by 4 ln of 5x and then we can cancel 1x and we will get over here x to the power 3 so we have to integrate x to the power 3 divided by 4 
with respect to x so dx and we can just carry on so we will keep the first term the same and the integral of the second term will give us x to the power 4 divided by 4 so the 4 multiplied by 4 will give us 16 so it will be x to the power 4 divided by 16 plus the constant and this is the correct answer so in this case the correct answer will be b which is, gives us the same answer let's move on to the next Also, the next question is a short question. Let's take a look at it. If the integration between negative 1 and 1 of the rational function 1 plus x divided by 1 plus x squared equal to pi by 2, then perform the following integration, which is the integration from 0 to 1 of the function 1 divided by 1 plus x squared. Here are the possible answers for but one of them is the correct one so we have to solve the problem to figure out which one is the correct answer here is the problem that we have to solve we want to find integration between 0 to 1 of 1 divided by 1 plus x squared we know that the integration of 1 divided by 1 plus x squared is tan inverse of x so this is tan inverse of x we have to evaluated between 0 and 1 and when we do that it's going to give us tan inverse of 1 minus tan inverse of 0 and that's going to give us pi over 4 because tan inverse of 1 it means that which angle has tangent equal to 1 and that angle is 45 degrees which is pi by 4 and obviously tan inverse of 0 is going to be equal to 0 so 5 by 4 divided minus 0 is going to give us pi by 4 and that's a correct answer we can get to the correct answer in a different way so let's take a look at a different way let us get started from the beginning so we need to do integration from negative 1 and 1 of the rational function 1 plus x divided by 1 plus x squared we can split this into two so it will be integration between negative 1 and 1 of the function 1 divided by 1 plus x squared plus integration from negative 1 and 1 of the function x divided by 1 plus x squared this should be equal to pi by 2 because it's given these two terms are same as this left hand term so we're going to go ahead and analyze these so we can take the first one and split it into two functions uh, and in this time we're, going to, we're just going to go ahead and go integration from negative 1 to 0 of 1 divided by 1 plus x squared and then we go from 0 to 1 and that is the limits of this integration of 1 divided by 1 plus x squared we just pretty much divided this one into two and the color coding will show them and then in blue is this value so it looks like we have a function and we can make the numerator the derivative of the function and to do so we can multiply it by 2 but then that's going to change the value of the integration so we multiply it by half so that we can get rid of that too and that will make it easy for us to do the integration and this is equal to pi by 2 so we have to go through this now and finish the problem we know that integration of 1 divided by 1 plus x squared is tan inverse of x so this is tan inverse of x we have to evaluate it between negative 1 and 0 right here plus this one is going to be the one that we need to find its value so we keep it as it is and then plus integration of this is going to yield ln of 1 plus x squared and we have to evaluate it between negative 1 and 1 and this is equal to pi over 2 so let's start from here so tan inverse of 0 
minus tan inverse of negative 1 plus the integration that we want to find its value plus the blue which for which we plug in for x 1 and then negative 1 so we plug in for x 1 so it will be 1 square minus ln of 1 plus negative 1 square and all of this will be equal to pi over 2 obviously these two will cancel each other so these will cancel each other and let's go and take a look at the rest tan inverse of 0 is 0 and then we have tan inverse of negative 1 is negative pi by 4 but we have negative and negative so it will be plus pi by 4 plus the function that we are looking for its value and we know the blue will evaluate to 0 so that's 0 and all will add up to pi over 2 so now the only thing we have to do to figure out the correct answer is to take this pi over 4 to the right hand side it will be negative pi over 4 and we have pi over 2 so pi over 2 minus pi over 4 is going to give us pi over 4 so the integration between 0 and 1 of 1 divided by 1 plus x squared is equal to pi over 4 and this ended and it's the same answer that we got with the short uh, cut so next question Evaluate the following integration. Integration of x cubed plus x divided by x minus 1. Here are the possible answers and only one of them is the correct answer. So let's solve the problem to find the correct answer. Integration of x cubed plus x divided by x minus 1 dx. If we divide the numerator by the denominator, then the quotient will be x squared plus x plus 2 and the remainder will be equal to 2 so we could just go ahead and take the integration so the integration of the rational function will be equal to the integration of the quotient plus the integration of the remainder divided by the divisor and this is just uh, a normal integration so let's go for it Integration of x squared is x cubed divided by 3. Integration of x is x squared divided by 2. Integration of 2 will be 2x. And over here, we have 2 divided by x minus 1. And its integration will be equal to twice ln of the absolute value of x minus 1. And we have to add the constant of integration. And that is the correct answer and since that matches b so the choice for the correct answer is b this is the last problem evaluate the integral of x plus 1 multiplied by e raised to the power x squared plus 2x plus 3 now let u be equal to the exponent which is x squared plus 2x plus 3 du will be equal to 2x plus 2 dx we can take the 2 outside so it will be 2 multiplied by x plus 1 dx now we solve for dx we're going to get dx equal to 1 divided by twice of x plus 1 du now we just go ahead and perform the integration so integration of the function we want to integrate which is right here equals to we replace the exponent by u because we set u equal to the exponent so here is the exponent and then we have to replace dx by its value and dx its value is right here so we just bring it right here down so the integration will be with respect to u only because x plus 1 cancels x plus 1 and will be left by integration of e to the power u du and divided by 2 and that will yield the following half e to the power u du and its integration is going to be 
as follows equal to 1 over 2 e raised to the power instead of u the value of u so the answer will be half e raised to the power x squared plus 2x plus 3 and we have to add the constant of integration that's it thank you for watching the video and good luck with your exams